to a lesson. Um, this is the Alice and Krauss version of a song by the Foundations, which is just a classic song. Um, and in in researching this song, I've seen a lot of ways to play it, and I really think the original is tuned down a full step. So if you tune your guitar down a full step, you can do the same chords I'm showing you here and play it. But I haven't fully played with that that way. I just noodled with it a little bit and it sounded right. But anyhow, um, we're going to go over the Allison Krauss version. So right away, let's talk about the picking. We're going to start on the fourth string and then go to the second and third and then first, second, third, second. All right. so. Our chord form is take your D and play a D sus2. So leave your middle finger off. And we're going to play four, two, three, one, two, three, two. All right, that picking pattern is consistent throughout the song. The only thing we'll be changing is the root note that we strike um, prior to hitting the second string. So in this case, we're hitting the third or the fourth string. All right, and then we're going to move to the third fret. We're going to speak. I'm sorry. This song's capoed at the first fret, so I'm going to speak to the capo as open. So if I played an E chord, it'd be like this, or D chord, or D sus two that I'm talking about. But what we're going to do for the second part of it is move our third finger up. To the third fret and take our of the fifth string and take our second finger off. Okay, so we're picking five and then two, three, and then one, two, three, back to two. So all we've changed is that root note. So we're starting at four and then three on the fifth string. walk down to the fifth string at the second fret and keep your fingers the same in the same picking pattern and one then we're turning it around we're going to go back to our D sus2 so we'll put our second finger down on the third string at the second fret now this is where it changes so this is where we change, and we're going to go to an E minor 7th form, okay? So take your E chord and just lift your middle finger off, but we're going to pluck through this chord, okay? So we're on the 1st fret of the 3rd string and 2nd fret of the 5th string. And what we're going to hit is the 6th string and then the 3rd string, which is fretted at the 1st fret, and then open on the 4th. And then we're going to strum up and then up down. So we have this. So if you pick properly down, up, down, and then strum up, and then pause, and then up, down, you'll have the rhythm. Okay, that's really important for this song. So the next chord we're going to go to is a G over D sus2. Hit the sixth string, third fret, and then two on the G to open on the fourth. All right, so we and then onto third fret of the second string, and then there's a little lick. And what we're going to do is where our second finger is on the, or yeah, our first finger is on the second string of the G chord. We're going to hit that to open and then four on the fourth string, fourth fret. And that'll lead us into an A sus2. A sus2 is like playing a full A chord, but we're not using the second string. Okay, so we're going to pick five and then three and four. Okay, fret it at the second fret. And then an up strum and then an up and down. I know that's a lot. I've written this out, so don't worry about it. You can follow the tab, um, and you'll be able to get this. Just take it slow, because the rhythm is so important. The, 
back and forth picking and the cording will really get you the song down. So let me take it from um, the D sus2 into the E minor 7 to the G over D sus2 to A sus2. So we'll have this. flows and I'm just picking back and forth. I'll zoom out so you can see that. Okay, here we are again from the D sus2. Okay, the key to that lick and moving from the E minor 7 to the G over D sus2 all you're doing is moving up a fret with the third string. So leave that finger there, pick up your middle finger, and move that to the sixth string. And then because you're picking six, three, four, you have time to put your middle finger down onto two. All right, so we have this. do the lick and then you're into the A minor um, A sus2 okay I know it's a lot and again I've written this out that'll really help you um, and then we're so so that's the intro okay and then they go into actually the chorus which they'll do twice so we'll go over the chorus part very similar to what we've done in the intro all right, so now we actually start the vocals with the chorus. What we're going to do is our D sus2, just like the intro, 4, 3, I'm sorry, 4, 2, 3 on the strings, and then 1, 2, 3, and back to 2. Now what he does a little different in the chorus, or the rest of the song, other than the intro is we're going to go up to that fifth string just like we did in the intro and second to third with our second finger off or I'm sorry first finger off the second fret is pluck or hit the first and second string together and our second string is fretted at the third fret all right so you have more of a little chord sound to it So we're going to hit one and three together, and then the third fret to open on the third string back to the third fret of the second. All right, so we have this. And that's consistent. That little rhythm is consistent as our, we walk down. So we'll go to the second fret on the fifth string. back into our E minor 7th form. To our G over D sus2. This time we're playing the chord and then our A sus2. So again, if you need to refer to the notes, That'll really help you a lot, but I think the video will give you a visual to help you with the, this part of the lesson. Go through the chorus twice in the, after the intro, and then we go into a little tag that takes us into the verse. And this tag, they'll play twice. And what it is, it's very similar to the intro with our D sus2 picking. We're going to play the fourth string to the second string third string and then one two and then we'll take off from there and when I say take off what we're going to do is the fifth fret open second fret and third fret when I say take off what I mean is we're going on the fifth string to open two three then we take that first finger to the second fret right below there 
open third string and then our middle finger is on the third string at uh, yeah, that's a third fret. Alright, so we have this. Let me show you the intro. Then there's sixth string at the third fret to open. Alright, and there's a little pause there, so the, the timing is critical here. And then you do it again. So let me show you that tag at speed. And then you're into the verse. Let me take you through the verse and I'll just go through it once. They'll do this twice and then I'll show you what they're doing. the verse we're going to do a very similar perky, uh, picking pattern with our D sus2 start the verse we're going to do a very similar perky, uh, picking pattern with our D sus2 we're going to go four open string to the third fret of the second second fret of the third string and then first and third on the first and second string together then we'll just keep going up to the second fret of the third string, first fret of the fourth string, and then we hit an open E, and that leads us into our G over D sus2. And then we're going to do a, it gives you time to get your fingers in place and play it down up. And then third fret of the second string, and second fret of the third string. Open and then our A sus2 down up and then open second to second fret of the third. Start the verse. We're going to do a very similar picking, uh, picking pattern with our D sus2. We're going to go four open string to the third fret of the second, second fret of the third string, and then first and third on the first and second string together. Then we'll just keep going up to the second fret of the third string, first fret of the fourth string, and then we hit an open E, and that leads us into our G over D sus2. And then we're going to do a, it gives you time, so we have this, slowly, one, two, three, four. repeats so that is the verse okay so um, they go next into the bridge which I'll show you that at speed and we'll talk about it So to start the bridge, we're going to hit, we're going to go into a B sus2 chord to an F sharp minor, okay? So a B sus2, we're playing the 2nd fret of the 5th string, 4th fret of the 4th and 3rd string, and then we're barring across the 2nd and 1st string. So what we do is hit the 5th string once, and then the chord, and then pick up on the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd string. We'll do that same rhythm with an F sharp minor. Then what we do is B sus2, we're going to hit that second um, fret of the fifth string to the chord down up, and same thing on the F sharp minor. Back to the F sus2, 
and then we go down as we hit the B sus2 to B flat sus2 to A sus2. And when we go to the A sus2, we're going to hit that root note, so it's the fifth fret open. So it's a down, down, up. written this out and the next part we go to is an E minor which is a little bit different chord than we've been playing but again we're in the bridge so we're gonna hit the sixth string and then the chord with the down up and then we do a little walk up so we're gonna hit sixth open to second fret third fret and go into our G over D sus2 To an A, we'll hit the root note first, sus2. Alright, so that is the bridge. So let me take you through that slowly. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. we go into the solo um, and basically for the solo we're going to repeat the intro once and um, then we'll go into the actually the solo um, again with the normal intro to the verse and bridge and chorus and tag and final um, chord is a D sus2 <laughs> So I've written this all out. Go ahead, look under the video. You'll see. A, a so I've written this all out. You'll see a link to the uh, tab under my video. That should help a lot. But remember, pick back and forth. Listen to the timing, um, and uh, maybe use something to slow it down and help yourself play this. Enjoy.